Okay, so what am I going to say here? How about, uh, in a world where packets and routers... Is that thing recording? What the... Hello, everybody. So, recently, a couple weeks ago, I guess, I posted this uh, on my Twitter and LinkedIn. And I talked about what the hell are all these things, right? We have CNC, we have some recording material, we have a mic switch, some shop furniture that I made, uh, a new headset that you see me wearing right now. And so the reason for this tweet and LinkedIn article was because I realized something. And that is um, last year in this uh, Shark Fest 2019 Europe, I announced that I was going to start a brand new course um, where once or twice a month, probably twice a month, I would post from the very beginning of TCPIP protocol analysis foundation to expert level. And it's going to take a while. Uh, and I also said that I'm going to keep it short because analytics tells me that most people watch 15, 20 minutes of any video. Um, the hardcore folks out there, you watch the entire SharkFest sessions that I upload. I thank you for that. Um, but if I wanted to give and teach TCP and protocol analysis, it has to be in short chunks uh, so that you can digest it, think about it. And the goal really started because um, in the last two years maybe, uh, I spent a lot of time on YouTube. Who doesn't, right? Uh, but it wasn't cat videos. Um, it wasn't useless videos. It was watching people like this old Tony, who's a machinist, um, incredible machinist, incredible teacher. Uh, I watched Scott Brown, uh, who's a carpenter in New Zealand, of all places. And uh, he's very, very good. Uh, and then we have Finnish Carpentry TV from Dallas, who does Finnish carpentry work. Um, and yes, I have passion for flight simulation, CNC, um, and woodworking, and of course, packet analysis. And what those YouTube videos taught me was that if you're genuine, if you're passionate, if you're knowledgeable, and you're a good presenter, people will watch, right? It doesn't matter. It almost doesn't matter what the content is. If you're entertaining, if you're funny, if you're good, and most of all, you're knowledgeable and you can teach, people will watch. So that's why you, as you guys all know, Wireshark packet analysis is a passion of mine and f have been for a very, very long time. And I took something away from that YouTube videos that I was watching, and I was learning incredible amounts of knowledge from these experts. I'm not the self-proclaimed experts in protocol analysis. There are people who are way better than me, uh, who go into much more detail than me. You've met some of those folks at SharkFest. Um, but I've been involved in this uh, community it's a tight-knit community for a long time. And I started down, and this is a confession, I started um, several, I don't know, five, six years ago where a publisher contacted me and said, hey, um, would you mind writing a, a book on protocol analysis in Wireshark? And I jumped at the chance. And in one of the Shark Fest, I said to myself, as I was sitting there in front of the, the audience presenting, that uh, Wireshark did change my professional course, um, my professional trajectory. And uh, it's done a lot for me and all for nothing. It was free of charge. And I thought about writing the book. Um, and yes, they were going to give me some royalties for writing the book. And I, I don't expect the book to make me millions. Obviously, it's, again, small niche world. But I didn't feel right about making money monetizing by writing a book. Now, I could have taken the Kindle route where I can publish on my own and charge, I don't know, 99 cents uh, to cover some cost, equipment, you know, all the things that you saw on here, all of this stuff costs money, right? Um, and as you can see, I'm going to have to update some lighting for the, the recording as well. So I thought about that, and then I said, you know, I used to do those webinars when I was with Riverbed, and a lot of people attended, but it, it didn't have enough cadence. It didn't have enough continuity. We would jump in on a topic and go very deep, go very light, uh, hit different topics. I had Jasper on. I had um, uh, Kerry on. I had Gerald on. We had guest speakers, and that was fun. And those of you who attended all of my Shark Fest sessions, I know that one of my goals in life was to be a uh, interviewer or a talk show host. So here's my chance. So what I decided after watching all those YouTube videos where I learned so much from all these experts was I'm going to teach everybody about TCP IP. And I don't mean 
TCPIP that Comer or Tannenbaum or Stevens, well, maybe Stevens, but it's not a textbook on how the protocol itself works from an academia perspective. I'm talking about teaching you packet analysis from a troubleshooter's perspective. What does it mean when you see these things scroll by on your screen? How do you decipher and what does it mean and how do I set this up so that it optimizes your troubleshooting? What the hell should you be looking at when you open up a trace file? Okay? And so you've seen me and you've heard me talk about the steps that I've taken, you know, what I normally do, how I set up my columns. So I'll be taking you through all of those in a step-by-step -step fashion. So over the course of next year, maybe a year and a half, maybe two years, you'll learn to appreciate how TCP works. It's interesting. It's like being a detective solving a crime. You have to look for these clues, piece it together. And I sometimes morbidly say that troubleshooting with packets is like getting a murder conviction without a body. Very rarely do you get that aha smoking gun proof positive. Sometimes it happens, but your job as a troubleshooter is to compile enough evidence that there is no doubt about the outcome or the root of the root cause. Okay, so that's the announcement. Um, and in between, so the difficulty here and why going back to the tweet, why I had all these other things is these things also pull at me, right? Woodworking and CNC uh, and making, believe it or not, switches using Arduino and Lua programming for my flight sim simulator called DCS. So I'll be making all these different videos for different audiences. So when you get a notification on YouTube, and I'll talk about that when I start my actual broadcast where all of these content can be found. I'm going to try to color code it so that you won't be wasting time watching a DCS flight simulator video or a virtual reality review or maybe the router review or CNC review or shop making furniture, etc. if you're there for Wireshark. And conversely, if you're here for watching some of the woodworking courses, uh, courses is too big of a word, some of the woodworking projects that I'll be talking about because again it's a passion of mine you can readily identify it okay so that's the big announcement I'm going to start a course I'll be traveling for the next two three weeks or so so I'll get the content ready and my promise is that I'll, I'll be uploading once or twice a month and maybe more okay it's not the duration of the video it's actually the editing so those of you who produce content know this uh, once you go down the rat hole of editing you go and add, try to add this try to add this this transition and this and that and before you know it eight hours has gone by for a 10 minute video right so that's what takes time and uh, but I will commit after watching the people that I mentioned on YouTube this old Tony Scott Brown finished carpentry etc that I'll be uploading more regularly at a regular cadence so that you can follow along. Okay? So that's the big announcement, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you'll be able to tune in and uh, watch for my announcement on the first course on both my Twitter and also on my YouTube and LinkedIn page. Thanks.